Hello guys, welcome back to another beginning banjo series video. This is video number four in the series. If you're interested in watching the whole series, I will actually put a link right up here if you want to watch it. Uh, it'll start from the first video and go to the very last one and it'll be in a playlist. So uh, you can watch it there. With that being said, guys, let's get on into learning some chords today. The first chord that uh, we're going to learn is the C chord, which is your ring finger on the first string, second fret right here your index finger on the second string uh, first fret up here, and then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna reach all the way across over here to the fourth string, str the fourth string on the second fret and fret it there. So your C chord will look somewhat like this. Now, in order to learn all your chords, and this will work for all of them, uh, if you're working on trying to get where you put your fingers down on that chord, the, what I recommend, how I recommend learning to do that is first figure out where your chords at and then the first thing you do is to start barely picking your fingers up and not even taking pressure off the strings. Just pick your fingers up and start just picking up and, and putting pressure back down, okay? With your fingers in that position for whatever chord it is. Just pick them up and back down. Well then after a while you can start kind of picking up off the strings a little bit and putting them back down and work on it like that for a little while. And the more you do it, the more bounce you can get in it, okay? And then you'll get to where you can come all the way off of it and then you just go right back to it and your hand is automatically. You want, when you fret a chord, your end goal is putting all your fingers down on that chord at the same time. Now there will be situations where you'll lay them in, like you'll have to hit this one first and then roll through and then you gotta put the rest of them down but that's later on way down the road. For right now, let's concentrate on when we put a chord down, like the C chord, we wanna hit it all at one time, okay? Now the D chord will be the third string, second fret, second string, third fret, and then the fourth string, I mean, the fourth fret, first string. Those will be those three fingers there. And then this finger over here to make the full D, will reach all the way over here to the fourth string, fourth fret. Okay. Now the F chord is the pinky on the first string, third fret, your ring finger on the fourth string, third fret, your middle finger on the third string, second fret, and your first finger on the second string, first fret. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a mouthful. Getting this down is the utmost importance and the f the more you make yourself work on it to get it, the better off you will be because that's something that people struggle with for a long time because they don't put the time in at the very first to, to get those chords down where they can just put them down on the string. Work on getting those three positions down. I mean down where you can, you can just come right to it at any time. It's gonna, and I'm just gonna be honest with you, it's gonna suck to get through. <laughs> it really is. Uh, but it's just one of those things as far as playing the banjo, you've gotta get through and you've gotta make yourself do it. So the next string I wanna show you is the D7, which is the second string first fret, third string uh, second fret. That's the D7 chord. And this one right here that you'll use quite a bit. It's a D7 chord. Uh, another one you will use is called the partial, partial C chord, which is uh, second string first fret, and then your ring finger on the first string second fret. This is a partial C, because what you're doing is you're not putting that middle finger down over here to make the full C, you're just doing the partial C, and the reason why you do that is because you're not hitting this string over here with whatever it is you're playing through in the song, like when you're, uh, when you're picking with your right hand, your right hand won't pick the string, and so there's no reason to put that finger down there to get the full C. So sometimes you can just put a partial C down. Remember the forward row? Five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, five. And that's where the partial C would come in. Then there's also a uh, partial D which is the 
um, third string second fret and the second string third fret, that's a partial D. You can also do that or you can go ahead and put the pinky down on the first string fourth fret and have a partial D that way as well. But those are, those are chords that I use quite a bit, the partial D and the partial C. Now let's put them to some of the rolls that we went through last week. So let's do a forward reverse roll with the partial C shape right here. Five, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. Now we can do a D7 and do a forward reverse roll, but instead of starting on the fifth string, we're gonna start on the third string with the forward reverse roll. So it'll be three with the thumb, right? Three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. So with the D7, let's start with the third string instead of the fifth string on our forward reverse roll, and let's practice that. Three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. Just something for you to work on to kind of get your fingers rolling through chords and rolls, to putting them together. But just practice on learning this rolling pattern. Um, it is more or less to, to get your hands into the rolling pattern and to learn some chords. Uh, it's not very hard. Uh, but it'll take you some time to get used to because you, now you're starting into fretting notes and changing notes and doing some of that stuff. So take your time with it, practice it. Don't try to hurry through it and get to the next lesson. Just take your time with this, guys. I promise you it'll pay off in the end. Thank you so much for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed the content, please consider smashing that like button, guys. With that being said, we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.